the chocolates. What the frick is that? We got the chocolates. Don't they do dad jokes? <laughs> we got the chocolates. Wait, there's a podcast? Yes. Really? <laughs> Scouts, welcome back to the We Got The Chocolates podcast. I'm Lee. I'm Skin. Yeah, I'm Gertie. And that's Migus over there. Hello. Migus Films chimes in when we need him. You have probably arrived by accident, but definitely stay for a laugh. We Got The Chocolates, that is a win. And uh, Migus, last week, you've got some news to share oh. with us about your golf game, actually. Can I throw it to you? <laughs> you absolutely can. Yeah, last week, hit uh, my first birdie. Is it okay, Bob? <laughs> And, um, I was yep. going to say that exactly. Okay. <laughs> this is the whole reason you got me to the story. Yeah, no, like, well, it actually now. wasn't. No, there's yeah, another okay. reason that's coming. All right. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. No. Yeah. So par four. Did the did the drive? Yeah. Um, sorry, I was about to say. Talk us through it in detail. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> oh, you. No. Yeah. Do oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So did the. Uh, I don't really know much, much golf terminology, but did the did the drive? Yeah. Did not, the drive sounds right. Not what yeah. you usually say. I don't know how far it went, but on the fairway, I think that's that's the middle bit. Thank um, you. And then use my sand wedge from about, I think it was my sand wedge. What'd you yeah. have on it? Um, from about <laughs> 70, 60 meters and landed it, I would say three meters, four meters yeah. from the the hole. Yeah. Yep. And then. And as we were walking down, skin was like, Migus, just to, like Migus was obviously incredibly excited. <laughs> a couple of, couple of details to add to the story. We've all teed off all three of us. So, and we had, um, we had disco Dave, the Brit that knows Jack shit. Our <laughs> producer was also with us. Uh, so me skin Migus, this is at like six o'clock in the morning on a Tuesday. And we've, that was probably about our like seventh hole, I reckon of the nine. And so we've all three of us have driven and pretty much gone to like the same spot, mm-hmm. like middle of the fairway. Good cart golf. And, uh, and it was like, there was someone on the course, like my, Wing. Yeah. Uh, and so we were kind of like, when we got there, we we're like, hey, mate, just, um, you know, just watch out because obviously not trusting ourselves mm-hmm. completely. Like, this could go quite far right mm-hmm. into your mower. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so yes. we we're trying to give you a warning. And then we've all hit these drives. And like, he kind of almost gave us like little, like, the clap, golf clap, like a yeah. bit of a applause. Like, that's proper golf. So he's thinking, we're absolute gurus. Starts mowing again. Dave <laughs> walks up to the ladies' tees to take his shot <laughs> straight in the water about eight metres in front. Disc. <laughs> also, about five meters away from that bloke. <laughs> yeah. So the bloke's like, watch this and go, like, oh, these guys are on at golf. I'll get back to it. Mm. Disco hit. Oh, dear. Trouble. <laughs> Poor disc. So, yeah. Oh, but yeah. then we, we we did walk up. Mikas has hit an unbelievable shot four meters away. He's like pumped and skin's gone. <laughs> Because you still probably a chance of bogeying. Yeah, yeah, that was my thing. I was like, this is the best hole of golf I've ever played. Yeah, that's like, two what shots. Said, yeah. yeah, and I was like, I easily. Like and you're like, you could three putt this, and yeah. yeah, it could be a double bogey. Yeah. <laughs> I thought he was going too early. He said, this is the best hole of golf I've ever played with like four meters to go. I was like, yeah. and I was like, a lot oh, could six. still go wrong. Here. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. And then and we, then but so we were so putt. confident he yeah. wasn't going to get that putt. No one even filmed. He was like saying to us, he's like, I've never got a birdie before. Mm. We're like, yeah, you still won't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it was, it was it, still like a pretty long putt. Yeah, it never like occurred it, to me that you would actually birdie that hole. Mm. Yeah. yeah, and I buried that hole. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, so well done, Migas. That was great. Thanks. That was fantastic. Yeah. We were very glad that we were there. Uh, however, the following hole is actually <laughs> oh, a I very can't. humorous story. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Which, Cody, I have been looking forward to telling you for quite some mm-hmm. time. Okay, so a <laughs> bit of context. On the first hole, right, mm-hmm. Migas, I was playing this round <laughs> for yeah. my handicap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Trying to score. No, I was with you as well. Right. You, was, you yeah, actually yeah, played with me too. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, another story. that's a separate story that we probably need to tell. <laughs> so Gertie was with me. We were playing for our handicap. You yeah, two yeah. obviously were there as well. Yeah, yeah, that's right. uh, yeah, and yeah. Mikas was keen to score properly. He was like, because notoriously not the greatest scorer, Gertie, yeah. you'd say. Very good with a rubber and very good with his foot from a tree. <laughs> this is bullshit. <laughs> no, no, it's not. We've seen you do it. What are you talking about? I've played golf with you one time. Times of Valley. <laughs> I was like yeah, the first hand. round of golf I've ever played and I wasn't counting the score. There, mate? Oh, five. So, <laughs> four in the water. I wasn't so that's even counting nine, score. So. That's bullshit. Yeah. Anyway, go on. Yeah. Anyway, Vigas, you've chimed in enough. Come on. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Oh, five Fuck good me. shots at all. <laughs> so we, Migas has got that sort of reputation, but he's been trying to get like from very good at, yeah. at scoring and, and scoring properly yeah. now. So I was sort of supporting him in this endeavor. Like, yeah. okay, yeah, we'll we'll score properly together because yeah. I'm counting it like I would for my handicap. Yeah. So let's do it properly. Migas hit the first one far left in the trees, lost ball. Yeah. <laughs> Walks down. Drops one. I was like, well, actually, to be fair, you probably should have like re-teed. Like yeah. that was, you know, hit a provisional because you're probably not going to find that yeah. sort of situation. But there was a group behind us and we were rushing. So Migas throwing the towel in. I also didn't know the rules. Yeah. <laughs> but so Migas throwing the towel in 
first hole. Yeah. Like I'm not, no, I'm not scoring properly, not scoring properly. Yeah. Like so then, <laughs> second and third hole, I don't think were great either. But then by like the sixty was actually started to go okay, and then the seventh was where the birdie happened. Mm-hmm. So then on the eighth hole. Dave the Brit, again, who's not a great golfer. He's very much just started and struggles making contact with the Mm -hmm. ball. (laughs) But don't forget Mikas's tea shot here either. No, yeah, yeah. Important important detail. I am getting to that, I promise. So (laughs) Mikas stopped scoring altogether. Eighth hole after he's in his birdie, his next shot, far right, lost ball. Yeah. That announces provisional, far right, yeah. lost ball. Yeah. <laughs> Third <laughs> time, provisional, nailed it. Yeah. Like straight down the fairway. Yeah. So hitting his seventh. Oh, okay, so what do you have to I say? I striked them well. <laughs> Those two that went right, I hit them real good. They just did go right into the creek. Yeah. But it was a dog leg left. Yeah. <laughs> he yeah. struck them so right. Lost ball for one, penalty for two, lost ball for three, penalty for four, so on the tee for five, middle of the fairway for six. Yeah, yeah. middle yeah. of the fairway for six, right? Yeah. So he's hit this cracking tee shot <laughs> yeah. for six. Puffle. Yeah. Uh, so he's in good shape. Yeah. Also, Dave- the two balls he lost were his last two balls. Yeah. He's, he's lost all his balls. Yeah. He's down to one ball. Yeah. And stopped scoring <laughs> yeah. along the way. Right. This is important context. I promise you we're getting to a yeah. crescendo. Then Dave comes up, hits a stinker, <laughs> like far right at about 25 metres. Yeah. It's not a great shot. Yeah. He's lost his ball as well. Me and Skid start walking down. We hit decent tee shots. Yeah. So we've started walking, Migus and Dave behind us. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> we just hear Migus <laughs> riding the high of his tee shot and his birdie from the previous hole. Dave just going, oh, why do I suck at golf so much? And Migus is like, yeah, I think what you got to do is. Oh, just no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that actually makes you <laughs> physically <laughs> fucking ill. I think you just got to keep your head down a little bit longer through your back. Yeah, I think That's you're just not, 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 uh, you're just not watching the ball quite hard enough. Like, keep your head down. I try to do it the whole time. Oh, no, 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 That's what no, I try to do. No. I mean, I'm hitting six from the fair. I'm going to write down five on the scorecard. So. Oh, <laughs> and I tap Skinner was like, listen to this shit. The bloke lost 15 balls. He's hit about 27 <laughs> over. And he's given golf twos up to his birdie. He's hit one birdie in his life. He genuinely thinks. Thinks he's a coach. What's <laughs> <laughs> so funny as yeah. shit? He asked me. He <laughs> said, "Why do you suck?" And I said, "This is the only thing I know." No, no, watch I the ball. Did you actually say this is the only thing you no, know? No, no I didn't. Say that. Thank you. I said that in my head. I yeah. just watched the ball. Yeah. <laughs> I'm moving us on to Jack of the Week. Well done, Big. It's great, Birdie. And uh, if people do want to get in contact with you for golf lessons, where can they do that? As in, I asked them for lessons. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no. Uh, joke of the week. Now, we get plenty left uh, on the chalk line. That's at www.wegotthechocolates.com.au. If you don't want to use the www, you don't have to. That is optional. Uh, this one, again, chosen by Dave, who we did place, I think, he was on report last week with a few carryover points. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, Dave, let's see what you've got for us here. And I think the joke of the week is also sent in by a bloke named Dave. Oh, that's good. So what I've done there is I push the button, yeah, and it's on mute. So now we're just going to wait for it. To, <laughs> <laughs> we're just going to wait for it to play out one time while we can't hear it, oh, yeah. and oh, then yeah. now I'll move this slider up. Oh, and what we'll a great joke! <laughs> hey, what's going on, boys? This is Dave from the states. Got a quick joke for you. I was working down at the bagel shop the other day, and a guy walks in and goes, "Hey, I'd, uh, I'd like to buy a bagel with cream cheese." I looked at him and said, "Sorry, man, I think we only take cash or card." Love what you guys do. Keep it up. <laughs> Not bad. That's great. That's Not actually bad. really oh, good. Yeah. Well done. You're back. That's yeah. well done. You're, nice. You're back. You're, back. Yeah. you're, still, well done, you're still on report though. <laughs> still on report for yeah. a little bit, but that is, that's far yeah. better. That's yeah. what we're looking for. Yeah. yeah. Good yeah. joke. Well done, Dave nice. and Dave. Dave has also been trying to uh, give me a written joke. He's given me the same written joke for the last three weeks and I will not use it. Good. So. <laughs> <laughs> is it shit? Yeah. Is it shit it, or it controversial? It offends two groups of people. Yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> so this one comes from James and it's, it's a bit easier. I tried to force feed myself, but it turns out I'm not a Jedi, so I just use a spoon instead. Mm. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. You should have read Dave's. Oh, <laughs> come on. I like that. Now you're, like a, that. you're <laughs> a report now. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right, though. That's just underperforming, I think. That's, oh. Nah, that's fine, Skin. Well done. Uh, joke of the Week, thank you very much for those two. Continue to leave them. They're great. And also Joke of the Week brought to you by our friends at Better Beer. Five great beers, which we're sampling here, mm-hmm. uh, and some good merchandise as well. Mm-hmm. So check them out, betterbeer.com.au. Uh, moving us on to things that you could do when you were young that 
you necessarily maybe not be able to do now that you're slightly older. I think my example uh, is that I went to the touch football NTL, like national championships last weekend. Uh, that was in Coffs Harbour. Mm-hmm. And, um, Are you all right? Or did you take well, a lozenge for it? Or? <laughs> And that is, and that that. is our pilot part of the week. That's not good enough. <laughs> it is good enough. It just wasn't that hard, was it? But it could be skinpilot.com.au. Oh, work with oh, us here, boys. Oh, you didn't interrupt that one. Skin, do you get it? I got it. Yes, I just... You I just cough up. I know. Yeah. That I get it. Uh, yeah. They're always better if you explode them, skin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so now what happens if you do a better one? Do you... Do you do the- Do it again, I reckon. Yeah, okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, go again. Yeah, thanks for asking. <laughs> we'll continue to strive and do a better one. Mm. Oh, that, that's fine. I thought that was very good. I anyway, noticed, yeah. the story... <laughs> We don't prepare this gear. That's the other thing, Skid. I, I, think didn't, even, I didn't even know he's in Coffs Harbour. No, nah, he had no idea. <laughs> that sounds like a blatant lie. <laughs> no he didn't idea. even know there was a company that sold lozenges. Nah. <laughs> he just made it up not, on the spot. Not once have I taken a fisherman's friend, <laughs> ever. They don't help you with golf. Yeah, that's definitely <laughs> not. Yeah, they do. They help you with everything. Okay. Yeah, I mean, Crippling yeah. anxiety. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's probably overselling yeah, it. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't factually checked that. <laughs> Might be right. Yeah, could be. All right. Yeah, so anyway, I went down, played touch. Um, my I played three games on the Friday and I was like, yeah, it's all right. I used to do this all the time kind of thing. Uh, woke up like nothing happened on the Friday. Mm-hmm. for, And I think you would have experienced something similar, Goaty, with your cricket. Mm-hmm. Uh, nothing happened on the Friday for me to feel in pain. Mm-hmm. And I woke up in the Saturday on the Saturday mm-hmm. and had mm-hmm. the sorest knee of all time. Mm-hmm. And I have no idea why. I yeah. assume just from using muscles too much, um, playing three games in one day. Mm-hmm. So it was just so weird that I used to be able to do that quite mm-hmm. easily. The other thing that's strange about our touch football uh, is that Every year since 2020, we've gone down and finished the exact same spot Mm -hmm. in the exact same game. We get knocked out in the semifinal every year against the exact same team. (laughs) Seriously. (laughs) Sydney Scorpions. Yep. And it happened again this year. It's like when we sign up and pay our levy, it's Mm -hmm. like they don't even say like, do you guys want to come down to the championships? They just say, do you you guys want to come come third? (laughs) (laughs) Do you guys want to come down and finish third? And we're like, yeah, right. (laughs) Sounds good. (laughs) Off we go. So that's what I've done. Mm -hmm. Um, not the best, I wouldn't have thought. And body hurts, it's mm-hmm. crippling. Yeah. I, I um when I filled in for that game the other day, that career game, and I faced twenty uh, like sixteen balls as a, that concussion sub. I was sore the next day <laughs> from batting. I didn't even from run for sixteen balls. I got twenty two of sixteen and hit four fours and a six, and I was fucking terribly sore the next day. <laughs> <laughs> that is concerning. <laughs> I'd say, um, but yeah, it's just it's frustrating. I, I got mic'd up for the game. Uh, I'm not sure if you saw, I put like a bit of a video out uh, yeah. on the Chalks page and it just mic'd up and sort of thinking like, yeah, I've definitely still got it. And then I sort of watched some of the highlights back and was like, don't gosh, still have it. That's, Darcy, why'd you have to slow that down? Yeah. <laughs> it's it's a 60 frames yeah. per second. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if it made that video, but you sent us a video of you like setting up a try. Oh, of yeah. course you did. Yeah. 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 Uh, as soon yeah. as I get good highlights, I said yeah, straight exactly. skin. Yeah. Yeah. Shocks. But you put slow-mo on it and it was just fucking comical because it just didn't look like it needed slow-mo. It, yeah, it looked like, like a statue. Like, yeah. <laughs> it is now stationary. So. <laughs> well, you turn it into pens and paper, did it? Uh, okay. <laughs> Now, the other thing that happened, I thought, that sort of reminded me of this and the reason mm-hmm. I think they go hand in hand. Did you guys see this week that Mike Tyson is mm-hmm. going yeah. to fight Jake Paul? Mm-hmm. In yes. boxing, yes, I did. That is quite loose because he is fairly elderly. Did you see that video of him training the other day? That oh, was really? oh my dear lord, I would have hated to be in that training. Just getting punched left, right, and center. Was it? Yeah, really. Yeah, Matt. He's Ab- fifty-seven now. Yeah, yeah. And I think he'll still win. You reckon? Okay. Yeah. So this is what, okay. So that was my question. Can he still do what he used to do mm. when he was uh, when he was older? I remember actually um, back when he was older. Yeah. Back when he was <laughs> <laughs> what he used to do. Oh, back when he was the old Benjamin youthful. Button. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he's fifty-seven. Jake Paul is twenty-seven. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Bit of reaction around them. The Mike Tyson quote. I thought that was good. Uh, I'm very much looking forward to stepping into the ring with Jake Paul. He's grown significantly as a boxer over the years, so it will be a lot of fun to see what will and ambition of a kid can do with the experience and aptitude of a goat. Oh, That's him yes. making the quote about himself. <laughs> so he's he's actually too. not that far off, really, though. To be fair, yeah. yeah. And you remember actually go to that other famous quote that he made. Mm-hmm. Um, which mm-hmm. was just- Mike, were you really sick this week? What was the problem? I broke my back. <laughs> What do you mean by that? You broke back is broken. What por- a, a vertebrae or, or well, what portion? Spinal. 
that quote was not made, I don't think, in reference to this fight, but maybe. Quite interesting. Funny, yeah. nonetheless. Yeah. Yeah. So you genuinely, you're pretty sure Mike Tyson got him. I, I, I hope he does too. I really hope he does. Yeah. I, I don't, I think we've done this in Mustard Dust, like the celebrity boxing matches like the dust, yeah. but Iron Mike is, he is nearly the goat, I reckon, so I hope he wins. It's okay. just so random. Like, who, who, is it his idea or Jake Paul's nah, idea? I mean, Jake Paul's like, idea to try and make a quick buck again, no doubt. <laughs> Aren't they, I thought they were mates, weren't they? Don't they train uh, together or something? No, nah, like, Well, he said that he started his career and yeah. now he's going to end it or something like yeah. that. Yeah, I think that was, that was the, next quote. Yeah. Not the exact also quote. quite aggressive. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think Conor McGregor also is sort of on the goatee train of thought because mm. he, this was his reaction when he was out. Conor McGregor is in a movie. He was, asked, he? he was asked at a movie premiere um, what he thought on the end fight announcement. Oh, geez, I don't, it's, a bit, it's, a bit, it's a bit strange. You know, the, is my interest, I've not, I, the interest is a low one. I don't know. I don't really, it, it, I don't understand it. So I wish well for Mike. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favourite part. Man. I don't understand it. It's weird. I'm not really interested, but I wish well for Mike. Yeah. <laughs> Ken, I think you're leading us in unhinged reviews. Sure thing. Yep. Great seg. Where we sort of just find some of the rogue reviews left on Google, Amazon, things of that nature. Uh, we've had one sent in, which inspired us this week. I think it came from Ben, and it's of it's on JB Hi-Fi mm-hmm. of a fridge. Mm, okay. Ever since I separated with my wife, I've had a hard time finding joy in the little things. Then, the LG GF MV600 mood up entered my life, and my mood is up. Unlike my wife, the LG GF MV600 boot up is always there for me. It can play music, it can be one of at least four colours, and with a simple knock I can see into 25% of my fridge so I can observe my leftover red rooster whenever I please. (laughs) Thank you, boot up. If only Jennifer could see me now. (laughs) Poor Ben. (laughs) Does the fridge actually play music? Yeah. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Why? And I guess has a see-through door. Oh. Yeah. I thought it was just a simple knock. Yeah, with a yeah, knock. So you knock on it and then, uh, yeah, yeah, then, no, that, like and then it goes transparent. You can, yeah, yeah. you can see inside of it. Yeah. That's, oh, that's, with, that with, his, with his red rooster, what you, he's not putting chips in the fridge, so just the chicken, surely. Chips I'll in the fridge the next day. Yeah, no yeah reheated chips grow up. Yeah, dust. Yeah. Oh, I agree. You do agree? Yeah. You can only eat chips fresh, I reckon. Couldn't What's agree the more. best chips? What? What's the best chips? Out of all those? Out of oh, the, like, takeaway. The main ones? Food, yeah. the fast, fast, fast food. Chips. Super Rooster Toowoomba has the best chips in the world. Well, that couldn't be less well known. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> pretty <laughs> niche. <laughs> Out of Thank all the big fast food joints. Yeah. Someone will email us or Instagram us this yeah. week. Super Rooster Toowoomba has the best chips on the Super planet. Ro- is that a chain? No. No, no it's, it's a one-off. It's only one. I think I saw something recently about them. <laughs> There's two, apparently. Child. I'll go... Red Rooster, I think. Okay. I was going to go to the Colonel's office. I'll say Red Rooster for sure. But well, the Colonel's office being KFC. So. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Okay. Yeah. Yep. yeah, no, I'm with you then. I quite like the KFC chip. Mm-hmm. Interesting. <laughs> All right. Well done, Skin. Nice Thanks. review. Uh, I got one from a, a review for a yodeling pickle. Now, I thought you'd be confused by what that might be, so I've included a sound grab. <laughs> So it's a pickle that makes those sounds, basically. Oh, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> Which is uh, apparently what G Seed needed. I can't count the number of times I've been out and about in, <laughs> and in need of an emergency yodeling pickle. I've tried wrapping avocados, howling broccoli, and on one occasion that I'd rather forget, an aubergine that sang the whole Wagner's Ring cycle, but they were all poor substitutes. You can imagine my relief on learning that my quest is at an end. Mm, beautiful. Sounds like a bit of a deal, that bloke. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, crikey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, get yourself in a real pickle there, haven't you, Skin? Yeah, good, good. <laughs> do, you want, do you have another couple short ones? Because I've got a very long one. Uh, got oh, yes, the next one's not. Yeah, we've uh, seen it. Uh, okay. uh, yeah, I've got a short one. Uh, waited for- <laughs> oh, yes, you do. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> Well, wait, from the Same. rarest papa, this is. Waited for 45 minutes, not a single employee came and washed my hands. This is at a McDonald's, sorry. Not a single employee came and washed my hands. What the heck is the employees must wash hands sign there for? Nice. And then my second one, which is like mid-length, I okay. would say. Uh, this is for a banana slicer. Ah. 
Uh, what can I say? Well, save my marriage is the title. Uh, what can I say about the 571B banana slicer that hasn't already been said about the wheel, penicillin, or the iPhone? <laughs> it's one of the greatest inventions of all time. My husband and I would argue constantly over who had to cut the day's banana slices. It's one of those chores no one wants to do. You know the old, I spent the entire day looking after our children. Maybe you can pitch in a little and cut these bananas. <laughs> And of course, you think I have the energy to slave over your damn bananas? I worked a 12-hour shift just to come home to this. These are the type of things that can destroy an entire relationship. It got to the point where our children could sense the tension. The minute I heard our six-year-old girl in our bedroom reenacting our daily banana fight with our Barbie dolls, I knew we had to make a change. Mm -hmm. That's when I found the 571B banana slicer. Our marriage has never been healthier, and we've even incorporated it into our lovemaking. Oh, oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, God. Is that when she's oh, angry seven. at him? <laughs> Cross. <laughs> okay. Very creative. Because banana looks like a penis. I got it. Yeah. 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 No, I'm, I'm with you. Okay. We've had we've had this this particular review has been sent in so many times. Is it the veet like, hair removal? The veet hair removal. Yes. So and every time we post one of these videos, someone says, "Check the veet check hair, the hair, hair removal." removal. And okay. I've, I've finally. I've always said it's it's too long. It simply will take up too much of our episode. But I'm finally caving. We, if you if you haven't seen it, you. It's, it's chaos. After having been told my danglies looked like an elderly Rastafarian, I decided to take the plunge and buy some of this as previous shaving attempts had only been mildly successful and I nearly put my bat out, back out trying to reach the more difficult bits. Hmm. Being a bit of a romantic, I thought I would do, do the deed on the missus's birth, birthday as a bit of a treat. Oh, lucky I, her. <laughs> I ordered it well in advance and working in the North Sea, I considered myself a bit above some of the other characters writing the previous reviews and I wrote them off as the soft office types. All my fellow sufferers, how wrong I was. I waited until the other half was tucked up in bed and after giving some vague hints about a special surprise, I went down to the bathroom. Initially all went well and I applied the gel and stood waiting for something to happen and I didn't have to wait long. At first, there was a gentle warmth, which in a matter of seconds was replaced by an intense burning and a feeling I can only describe as like being given a barbed wire wedgie by two people intent on hitting the ceiling with my head. <laughs> Religion hadn't featured much in my life until that night. <laughs> <laughs> but I suddenly became willing to convert to any religion to stop the violent burning around the turn tunnel and what seemed like the destruction of the meat and two veg. What's the turn tunnel? I assume turned. that's the, the turn oh, oh, tunnel. Oh. Well, I know exactly what that is. <laughs> Say no more. <laughs> Struggling to not bite through my bottom lip, I tried to wash the gel off in the sink and only succeeded in blocking the plug hole with a mat of hair. Oh. Through the haze of tears, I struggled out into the bathroom across the hall into the kitchen, out of the bathroom across the hall into the kitchen. By this time, walking uh, was not really possible and I crawled the final yard to the fridge in hope of finding some form of cold relief. I yanked the oh, fridge. Oh, have a flu as well, the poor bloke. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Tough night for him. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Get some Benadryl in there too, mate, will you? I yanked the freezer drawer out and found a tub of ice cream, tore the lid off and positioned it under me. No. The, oh, the no. relief was fantastic, but only temporary as it melted fairly quickly as the fiery stabbing soon returned. Due to the shape of the ice cream tub, I hadn't managed to give the starfish any treatment and I groped around the drawer for something else as I was sure my vision was going to fail fairly soon. I grabbed a bag of what I later found out was frozen sprouts and I tore it open trying to be quiet as I did so. I took a handful of them and tr tried in no, vain to clench, to clench some between the cheeks of my ass. This was not doing the trick as some of the gel had found its way up the chutney tunnel and it felt like a space shuttle was running its engines behind me. This was probably and hopefully the only time in my life I was going to wish there was a gay snowman in the kitchen oh, which should no. give you some idea... <laughs> Of the depths I was willing to sink in order to ease the pain. The only solution my pain crazed mind could come up with was to gently ease one of the sprouts where no veg had gone before. Unfortunately, oh. alerted by the strange grunts coming from the kitchen, the other half chose that moment to come and investigate and was greeted by the sight of me, ass in the air, strawberry ice cream dripping from my bell end, <laughs> pushing a sprout up my ass while muttering, oh, that feels good. <laughs> I used to like chutney. <laughs> <laughs> and sprouts. <Yeah. laughs> Understandably, this was a shock to her and she let out a scream and as I hadn't heard her come in, it caused an involuntary spasm of shock in myself which resulted in the sprout being ejected at quite some speed in her direction. Oh, no, I it could didn't. Understand that. <laughs> what, this is the first time you think this is not a believable story? <laughs> 
I can understand that having a sprout farted against your leg at 11 at night in the kitchen probably wasn't the special surprise she was expecting. And having to explain to the kids the next day what the strange hollow in the ice cream was didn't improve my status. Uh, Surely he's throwing the sauce. Yeah. He's going to throw yeah, the ice cream in. Why did he Probably <laughs> tongue yeah. that in the bin. Yeah. <laughs> so to sum it up, Veet removes hair, dignity, and self-respect. Yeah. Have you ever used hair removal oh. cream? I have. So I'm not. Have you? Does it burn? It, didn't, it, it burns that. if you leave it on for too long, definitely. Ah, okay. Yeah. Like, I think it, it comes with quite strict directions, as in, like, don't leave it on for a long time. Right, okay. <laughs> I would think. But, yeah, no, yeah. it does have the ability to burn. Okay. I wouldn't have thought to the extent that you want to shove a Brussels yeah. sprout in the Norse, but, mm -hmm. I mean, <laughs> it's everyone right. deals with things yeah. in different yeah. ways. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. uh. Well, I'm yeah. glad that we uh, have finally yeah. caved and read that out, yeah. Skin. That took That's, me on a journey. That yeah. Surely an emotional, an emotional journey. Old mate has to write a book or something. Like if you can keep you hooked yeah. for that long, it, I think it's fiction. I wouldn't say hooked with things going out your bum hole, but anyway. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, Cody, can you hook us on oh, this new game you've got for us? Yeah, so we're well, call it, we haven't got a jingle for it, though, which is disappointing. Well, you do oh. actually have a jingle. No, I'm not going to sing a lot. But yeah, yeah. we'll do it. Uh, so Mount Rushmore. So do you guys know all what? Mount Rushmore is. Yes. Yeah, Skins told a joke about it before. What was your Mount, Ru your Mount Rushmore related joke? Couldn't tell you. Oh, Excellent. Excellent. No, it was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, memorable. <laughs> something about rock music, wasn't it? Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I can't remember. Anyway, yeah. um, so the four US presidents on the uh, the big, I guess, mountain. Um, so what Who are, are the, the presidents? Uh, Jefferson, Washington, Lincoln, yeah. and some other. Some other bloke. Teddy some Roosevelt. Other. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. Right. Mm. Yeah, good. Normally he rows boats. I'm yeah, yeah. That time he just rows a belt. And his um, sister, uh, Theodore um, Daisy Velt as well, not just rows a belt. <laughs> Wait, do I even get that? a Daisy Velt? Oh, I don't get that. Well, a ro that was a, good. A, ro a rose is a flower and so is a daisy. Uh, oh, <laughs> goodness gracious. <laughs> I was nowhere there. Uh, that's right. We try our best. Yeah. Maybe, no, not no, no, you got to keep throwing yeah, them out. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. They're not all the rows boat one, flew under the radar. Yeah. That was you miss 100% of the shot you take skin. Just remember that. Okay. I'm not sure that how that went <laughs> no, either. I know. <laughs> All right, so anyway, so what I'm giving to you guys, all right, is a little bit of homework, all right? So I want you guys to persuade me on your own uh, Mount Rushmore. So we've got three topics uh, it, for today. Mount Rushmore is top four. Top basically. four, because there's four presidents' heads on the ramp mountain. And also it rhymes with top four, so it's great. It works both ways. That's exactly why I did it. Yeah. Obviously, I'm joking. All right, so the, <laughs> so, so, the, uh, <laughs> so the first topic, all righty, uh, and we'll go left to the dealer. Top four dinners on your Mount Rushmore, Mitchell, to start. Okay, Go I've skin. gone. Burritos. Mm -hmm. No brainer. My favorite Mexican food. So to just read your top four first and yeah. then just release them all. Sorry. Release. <laughs> for speaking, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just Wait, are you doing one to four? Shouldn't you do four to one? I didn't put them in order. I'd pick my top four. Oh, you do. You just be the best version of yourself yeah. you can be, though. How about we I all just say the things way. we yeah. want? Okay. Yeah. Skin, you keep speaking. You just All do right, it, yeah, I'll just keep speaking. Yeah. So I so I had burritos. Yeah. Then I had- Why'd you have burritos? Because <laughs> I like burritos. Yeah, then good. I had burgers because uh -huh. I like burgers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then I had pizzas, quite like a pizza. That's good. And I finished with a shepherd's pie. Oh. oh. Okay. Uh -huh. Michael? Uh, okay. I had a peri-peri chicken with rice. Mm. A mushroom risotto. Ooh. Nice. Uh, just a, a big old lasagna. Yep, lasagna. And a grilled beef tenderloin with herb garlic pepper coating. Nice. Nice. Yeah, you disgust okay. me, but apart from that. <laughs> yeah, that's right, ethically. Mm -hmm. uh, from four to one, chicken Kiev. Yes. Sausages and onion gravy, spaghetti bolognese and prawn pesto. Good. My top four. Okay, I'm going to give Mikus the point in this imaginary game. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, you were siding with him. Yeah, but I love your chicken Kiev uh, entry. I think it's the most underrated of all dinners. I, I do think. love it. Yeah. It's good. All righty. We're going on to bands. Mikas, can you lead us up, please? Uh, yep. Uh, I've got Fleetwood Mac in there. Okay. Uh, I've got Powderfinger. Okay. And I've got Red Hot Chili Peppers mm -hmm. and Blink-182. Oh, you are tailoring this to me, you yeah, naughty boy. I feel boy. like you've chosen the ones you think Goaty also oh, like. Did, I've, got did a, um, <laughs> I've got a real list of like two different um, – Time frames, uh -huh. I would say. Fall Out Boy. Yep. Blink 182. Uh -huh. Cold Chisel. Uh -huh. And Queen. Huh. I don't think what you're going to say is matter. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> think we've got the winner. <laughs> I'm there's just telling chi- you, only from the side of my mouth. <laughs> there's, a, there's a chicken dinner okay. on my right hand side. Yeah, that's here. a key oh. variety. <laughs> Come on. Capital U train. Okay, well, yeah, okay, it doesn't matter. But I had Fleetwood Mac and Red Hot Chili Peppers, uh-huh. then oh. Green Day and the Beatles. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Who I thought would be tough to look past, to be honest, yeah, given yeah, the, but, the Beatles. Well, that was great. Yeah. You came third. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they're literally the Beatles. Yeah, no, no. yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, no, historically, they're quite well known. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and our last one, cheeses. Ooh. Jesus Christ, is it going to be hard? <laughs> All right. Mozzarella mm-hmm. features heavily on a pizza, yeah. which I quite like. Skin does too. No, so if you just go through your top four, don't, <laughs> don't yeah. just fly yet. Yeah, right. Then I've got cheddar. Mm-hmm. Camembert, yep. which I also say to um, yep. when there's a bear stuck yep. in the tree and I want him to come down. Yep. Camembert. Yep. Uh, we got it. And brie. <laughs> oh, because obviously, you know, that time that that cheese factory burnt down. Debris everywhere, Skin. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's you, I think. Oh, yeah, that, that, that was good. Well, I mean, yeah, it's, I mean, it's tough for me to participate in this. I don't eat a lot of cheese, oh, but right. I mean, obviously, you've got your cheese. Is that is, fake um, cheese? That's a vegan cheese, yeah. Why nice. is it cheese? Uh-huh. Was it she? Was it called she's? That's just the name of the brand. I think they just uh-huh. want to get it as close to without actually being it. So yeah. you know it's a vegan cheese. Yeah, but it sounds more like a. I guess like she's having a good day today. Like it's more of like yeah, a, but uh, it's probably not spelled like that. Uh, um, but yeah, anyway, how is it spelled? S H E E S. Okay, so it's like sneeze, but it's like fucking cheese. It's like cheese. It's similar to cheese. Yeah, yeah. Top four. So it's fine. It's fine. Next week, and then. Uh, apricot and almond cream cheese. I used to oh, like that. That was good gear. That is good. Yeah. Nicely done. And skin. then, you know, the like grated parmesan that comes in that shit plastic little sprinkle. Yeah, thing, like, like, like the powdered yeah, cheese. Yeah, basically. the real yeah. fake. Yeah, yeah. I, I used to froth that. Mm-hmm. And then they're, they're the only three cheeses I can really remember. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, yep, been, so yep. I had camembert, cheddar, gouda, mm-hmm. and brie. Do you eat gouda often? Well, Lee, I do because uh, well, mainly it helps build a stronger, a stronger skeletal system and maintains <laughs> overall oral hygiene. Uh, it's consisting of all the essential amino acids. Gouda is a rich source of high quality proteins. Uh, the proteins play a vital role. Now we're good. Muscle <laughs> and repair mechanisms. Wait, you know this gouda is you also eat. rich yeah. Not in just source of vitamin A, and that's why I eat it often. How many times per week? Four. That's times a lot of Gouda. Four but, times you rip into a Gouda cheese. There is so many health yeah, all benefits. All those health benefits, yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what Gouda is. What? Which I, I don't think Mika says it. I've got no fucking idea. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who to give that to. Well, you can have Mikas' fake one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah I'm going to give it to point. Lethal again. Skin second, Mikas third. <laughs> Mainly for the uh, the <laughs> definition. I didn't need that. Thanks, Siri. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, the correct answer, however, there's no correct answer. No one put blue cheese in there. Do you like a blue cheese? Fucking love a blue cheese. Is no, that the one yeah. that looks like it's mouldy? Yes. It that, looks like that veins. Is, isn't it? Isn't oh, it is mould. It is yes. mould, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah and mould is also skin. Actually, I'll throw it at you here with your Bachelor of Chemistry. Mould is also... Bacteria, wait, isn't like medicine or something? Penicillin. Penicillin, Penicillin yeah. yeah. Mm. Yep. Any more details? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but I'm glad we got to do that so we get to know each other a little bit more. All right, we're playing a game of taboo. You know that I need a guess from you Cause every word I say is a clue The word could be eggplant, snow or cute Baby, we're playing the game taboo Now, you are quite right. We are playing two games of Taboo in probably quicker succession than we normally would. The reason for that is because Skin and I copped an absolute belting last game, and we don't believe that we actually are that bad at it. Mm. Uh, And as we put the show plan together, we ensured that we got another chance to rectify the situation. Um, (laughs) Taboo, (laughs) Cody is, I'm not sure what I'm telling you, I'm more telling if you're listening for the first time, uh, Taboo is a game of word guessing with a twist. In Taboo, you describe a word to your partner without using the word itself or five related words on the card. Uh, you are hoping that your partner picks up what you're putting down. It is me and Skin plays Goaty and Mikus. The game today is brought to you by our friends at Aussie Broadband. Oh, yeah. Their 100% local call centre means you have a trusted expert on your side. Here's hoping that Skin and I can trust each other too. Now, Gody, you actually had a story about um, Aussie broadband that you were telling us just before, remember? (laughs) 
I do actually. <laughs> no, because what I thought I'd do, I knew we were going to play this game to do. So I thought I'd try and like just maybe help my partner a little bit mix over there. I actually sent him some answers of taboo. All right. right. But I could only do that with quick internet. Though, well, you no. could. Exactly yeah. right. Exactly. Lucky we're with Aussie Broadband in the office. Well done. It's a, it's a, it's a great point. Megas? A very good point. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, so you guys know how the game works. I think you pumped us last time. It's fantastic. Where uh, do we let you go first again, or do oh, we I try and go first? Why don't you? Why don't you go first? Have, I think the runs on the board makes yeah, a that'll help. difference. Yeah. Oh, we, we, because we fucking declared last time with our forehead. <laughs> I think probably getting more right would also help us. But we'll try yeah, but with we'll the going. Go first. Actually, well, the good thing is, yeah, yeah, if, you go, I mean. if you guys go that poorly, we'll let you just follow on. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you very much. We'll yeah, be under less pressure going first. All right. Well, skin. I will start the timer when you start speaking. Oh shit. I'm describing. Okay. I oh, assume so. Yeah, what do you sure. want me to? No, that's fine. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go then. Three, two, one. Uh, uh, goodness me. Uh, Mikus off the tee, his 30. shot. No. Drive. Yeah. Right. Uh, first name of the person whose last name is Winfrey. Oprah. Oprah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. Okay. Uh, a big Ooh. animal, <laughs> like very strong. Elephant, rhinoceros, no, hippo, sort of hippopotamus. Stands on two feet like a bit like a kangaroo. Or, yeah, we're in, aren't we? No, it wasn't yeah, kangaroo. No, wrong. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> One more guess. Yeah, that's what I'm luckily. Right. Yeah, Stands exactly. on two feet like a human. Excellent. And my final guess will be gorilla. Wrong. So close. <laughs> what was it? Ape. They're the same. Oh, you can't say that. Uh, yeah. No, okay. That is wrong then. Ape. Mm. Damn it. Unlucky. Mm. That's true. We could How many do we get? I'm happy with that. Two. Two. I think two's, two, that's fine. two's par. I think. Yeah. Two's par. Three's a birdie. Okay. Well, nah, because you well, ha- it has been a good week for, for birdies. Yeah. That's right. Mm, I'll start eagle. the timer when you start describing, Mikas. All right. Are you going first? <clears throat> I guess so. Yeah. No. All right. So it's a type of... Um, uh, so vinegar, like if you shot vinegar, it's, it's the sour. No, the what's what's like the words before acid. It? Oh, balsamic. No, uh, fuck me. Um, okay, when I'm writing, no, I've said the word. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> All right, uh, in school, if I did an assignment, uh-huh. but I did the exact same thing as someone Copyright. else. Copyright. No, another Copy. word for that. Uh, plagiarism. Yeah. yeah. Uh, all right, uh, it's a oh, good night, nurse. Yeah, it's you've got a, one guess. Holy <laughs> the, if you guess this, photocopier. No, <laughs> it was it was arsenal. Oh, oh, I'll leave my arsenal. What were you going to say? Uh, it's a English wait. Premier League football team. Okay. I was going to say yeah, soccer team that's red. Oh, that's good. Yeah, but that would have been good. But I didn't. No, you didn't get, get to it. Yeah. What was the one? first one? Two one vinegar. Uh, apple, apple, apple cider, cider. Uh, apple cider vinegar. That's really strong, bro. Uh, yeah. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> See the runs on the board thing. Runs on the board. It puts them under pressure, yeah, doesn't exactly. it? Exactly. All right, it makes skin. a big difference. Are you ready? Oh yeah. I've got to start the timer, and also start explaining at the same time. That's quite hard. Yeah. We're doing yellow, aren't we? Yep. yep. Okay. Ready? Oh, wait. that's all good. Here we are. Okay. Uh, a fart bomb would. Oh my gosh! I've said the word. That <laughs> hurts. Uh, okay. I. Have been to a brainstorming session and therefore we've got a great idea. Uh, That's good. Good. Uh, you would have done a lot of this. Uh, X plus Y equals Z. Uh, yeah, but like the actual it's subject. Formula, equation, maths. Uh, yeah, but more specific. Algebra. <laughs> more specific around. Uh, oh, I can't say that word. <laughs> You've almost said it. There's got to be a time here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Mathematics? Nah, geometry. Is that geometry? No. <laughs> geometry well, you couldn't say shapes. angle, school, shape, algebra, or mathematics, so I'm assuming they're quite related. They were the words that you couldn't say. We've got three and you guys have got one, so you need uh, three to I'm win. I'm not that confident. That's okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Here we go. I don't think you're ready for this. I don't think you're ready for this. Uh, uh, I don't think you're ready for this. <laughs> if I need to- <laughs> Next. I don't know. I don't know. I that. Oh, Okay, um, Elon Musk is a billionaire. Lower millionaire. <laughs> okay, uh, hidden underneath your uh, dwelling is uh, somewhere maybe your laundry might go if you're in America. Um, Basement. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. 
Well, you've got to guess from OK. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Wait, current score? Current score, Dave? Can I check? It's square. Current square. Score? It's 3-3. Three, three. Oh, um, you've got this guess. All right. Yeah. It's a cactus. Oh, that's so close. Claustrophobia. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you're ready for this Hell jelly. Did I, didn't jelly. Know, I didn't know the I didn't know it. Well, yeah, I, I mean that explains why well, you yeah, get it. Yeah. And, and that's also not what I even thought it was at all. Oh, so what were you gonna say? I don't know. I don't think you're ready for this. I don't think you're ready for this Homus and bread dip. <laughs> no, I had no what do we do? Do we just accept the tie? Well, I think we accept the tie, accept don't we? Surely sure yeah. not. No, nah, I guess we are. There was a definitely three or what three did you guys get? We got explode. No, we didn't. I said that wrong. We got idea. Drive an opera. Why don't, why and don't, got- Mika's first skin shootout, what why happens? don't you read a clue, oh. guess first. Oh, oh okay. I like, yeah. Yeah. Right, I like it. Yeah. Here is the tiebreaker. Are you ready? Come on, Mikas. Okay. Oh, you can't say any of those words. Okay. Uh, I'm going to keep counting very, very high. Uh, you might Infinity. say, or oh, skin. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's real. That's really ruined the celebration, I'll be honest. What's what? happened? Goaty's just blocked. <laughs> Infinity is correct. If you're watching on YouTube, Goaty did indeed block me. I was in the way, me. Me. In the way <laughs> of every camera. <laughs> every camera somehow. <laughs> and so poor old Dave the Brit, as producer, has panicked, pretty much punched the wall over there, distracted me. Uh, but Skin, you were indeed correct with Infinity. Oh, the Infinity I've Pool. Played, I've played that Come way on. too low. That's that what you nice. got, Skin. Much well better. done. Yeah. And that means that Skin and Lethal are back in the winner's circle for Taboo. Come on. Well done. What do you mean, Mikas? Why do you look so confused? When do we get egg? No, it was sudden death. It was you versus Skin. We said that. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I wasn't even. <laughs> Did you not even no! know you were fixing us? I thought no. <laughs> I literally thought. <laughs> that makes so much more sense than what I thought. What? I literally thought. How did you think that oh, was working? It. I literally thought you were doing one and then Goaty was doing one for me. And oh, then they both keep getting it right. Oh, yeah. You had one guess and then I had one. <laughs> so you just both keep getting it right. And I was like, oh, uh, Skin, that was good. All right, uh, now we're going to go. Podcast and we- going for an hour 45 this week. <laughs> Yeah, that, I was thinking it was strange. I was like, it's not the best way to. Is that the greatest game we've ever done? We've tied. Migus hasn't got, I'm going to get ready for this jelly. Then we've done a time break. Goaty's cut every camera. <laughs> I've what watched what happened. Go, and Migus good work. Is, Migus is playing a game he doesn't realise. <laughs> Can we not have explained that Holy any better? No, 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 you I did. I'll say no, Goody, you read one and I'll yeah, say no. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah oh, just for God. fun, baby. Oh, oh, who's got your in for an X? No. Fucking spell me. Oh. Anyway, right here, you're in for an X. <laughs> That's all right, buddy. We did our best. Anyway, uh, this one's from Sarah B uh, with the at yoga mum underscore 1823. You know that um, her sister, the skincare company, Sarah B. <laughs> Oh, and the her dessert sister cup. is a company. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but her, no, but her other um, sister owned the um, look, the dessert company, Sarah Lee. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> they're all, I'm sure they're all very closely related. <laughs> It actually reminds yeah, me of yeah, yeah. that, that, yeah. that time when um, someone came up to me and said, like, oh, does every sentence have to have a dessert in it? <laughs> and I said, oh, not necessarily. <laughs> It's actually scary. How good <laughs> oh shit! Anyway, oh, who fucking cares? What are we doing? Uh, Sarah B and her sister Sarah like uh, Yoga Mom one eight two three. This will be good. Uh, my eight month old just said her first word. Namaste. Hashtag proud Yoga Mom. Hashtag purposeful fa- parenting. Shut up, Sarah. Um, <laughs> Kenny, my main issue with this tweet, Sarah, is that this did not happen. <laughs> <laughs> very succinct. Yeah, yeah. Very to the point. Yeah. Oh, like, I thought there was more. But, uh, uh, I like that a lot. This did not happen. <laughs> well done, Gunny. Uh, That's a great way to finish. <laughs> Radio. That is another episode that we got the Chocolates Podcast complete. And we got some homework for you this week, I think. Skin, what is it? You usually are in charge of homework. What do you want? 
I don't know. Okay. Well, so, <laughs> luckily, I prepared it for Thank you. you. Uh, uh, no, we talked about it and I forgot it. So. <laughs> we, we would love to just have a review uh, left by you. I mean, some of the ones that we read, Mickers enjoys reading them. We all enjoy reading them. There's some very creative ones uh, and they're very entertaining. So please do go and leave a review on Apple this week if that is where you listen. Uh, there is one from Ken, for example. Now, this one was like very serious in a way, but then also had bits of great comical value. I'll read you an excerpt. Uh, anyway, to bore you with some of my background, I'm a Yank that lived in Australia for Yonks, married an Aussie, uh, didn't wait a decade to propose either like Mr. Bejeweled Richard, <laughs> best, best, <laughs> married the best woman in the world, by the way, popped out some kids and due to family reasons had to move back to the States back in 2019. To say the least, we do get homesick quite often. Um, and then goes on, but summarises with 69 out of 5 stars. Would sponsor if I could afford A-listers like yourselves. Thanks for making us feel like we're back home for 45 to 52 minutes once every <laughs> four to six business years. <laughs> Cheers, Ken. Uh, uh, I mean, That's reading perfect. that is fantastic. It genuinely is. It, A, it's obviously humorous and has a crack at most of us. Mm -hmm. uh, and it even said something about Mikus in there as well, actually. Mikus adds a lot of hilarity, as do the others that pop on. There you go, Mikus. You get a shout out. Thanks. Nice, Mikus. Thanks, man. It's good. Good. Um, but yeah, we enjoy reading them a great deal. So please do leave us one this week. That would be fantastic. Mm -hmm. uh, remember that if you're out there having a laugh this week with your mates, then you absolutely are getting the chocolates. We love having you here and we'll speak to you again this time next week. And as always, good luck in the future. And that's Stumps. Love you. Love you. Love you. Oh, well, Gibbs, did you hear? <laughs> that there's that, like an AFL team that like might be going to Darwin. Mm. <laughs> I can't remember it. It's an AFL team. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that named the Darwin Sea Dragons. Mm. See me dragging these nuts on your face. <laughs> Oh shit. <laughs> Love you. We're gonna send that today. <laughs> Got tagged in it or two.